Hello everyone, this is Christian from CNN Navigation Systems and in today's video I'd like to introduce our brand new release CMNAV 360 with built-in Full HD dashcam. Let's start with unboxing the product to see what's in the box first. So, it comes packed in this nice premium box. Take the lid off. Got a nice piece of foam to protect it against shocks and whatever during the transportation. Got the sat nav, also placed in a little plastic bag to pre prevent it against scratches and all these fingerprints and all. I'll put this to one side and we'll get to back to it a bit later. But I want to start to see what's actually in the box and then we'll go back to the product. So taking this piece of cardboard out and inside we have the following an USB cable this is not to be used for charging devices it's just used to power it, uh, to uh, transfer uh, data from computer um, such as map updates do not use it to charge device because uh, it, it won't provide sufficient power many people do this mistake but this is not like a proper charger a proper charger instead is this 1224 proper charger like I said and I insist with this proper because nowadays uh, many people on eBay or uh, on other websites sell sat navs but they don't have proper 24 volt chargers even if they state that in their description they're only good for cars for a 12 volt socket and as soon as you plug it in a 24 volt socket it will just blow so also this one has this nice angled connection uh, which will allow the wire to stay straight down a 90 degree it's good because it won't bend it won't snap that easily and it won't pull the sat nav to one side the next uh, piece it's the traditional suction cup connection windscreen mount unlike others in our store this one has a different system it has this little thread here it's more like connecting a camera to your uh, windscreen on top of the sat nav you'll see in a few seconds it's got a thread a threaded hole where you screw this in to fix it in place and the rest you know how to use it lock this into the windscreen it's got a little film here to protect it which you should peel off before you apply on the screen Speaking of uh, ways to uh, place the sat nav in your vehicle, we've got an additional way to put it. This is for dashboard. It's a dashboard stand, and I'll show you later how to use this. It's basically the sat nav will be slotted into this groove here. Place this on screen on dashboard, and um, sat nav will stay there to have more stability and prevent it from falling over when going over speed bumps or. Uh, when turning, taking sharp turns, you've got in the box two little sticky pads, double sticky pads. Peel these off and apply them on each leg of uh, the, you know, at the base of uh, of the dashboard stand, and it won't go anywhere. They're nice and thick; they're about five mil in thickness, so they should provide you with sufficient sufficient. Uh, uh, strength you know to to keep it steady on onto the dashboard if these uh, for some reason let's say they just uh, are not so easy as, as much in, in time you can easily buy replacements you can find them online they're all over and probably will get them in store as soon as possible you also get a micro SD card a 16 gigabyte micro SD card is a fast speed one. It's very important to be a good quality micro SD card because this is used for uh, camera um, uh, footage from dash cam. So um, camera won't write in the internal memory of the sat nav because if it fills it up, it will run out of memory and you won't be able to use it. So it will require uh, an external memory card, which we provide for free. You can upgrade this, you can put up to 64 gigabyte, I think, uh, yeah. This one is good enough for a start because the camera records in a loop, so 
it will start when it fills up it will uh, start overwriting the old files and it will write new ones over it and last but not least you get you get um, a user manual in English it's got pictures about how to operate the interface of the satnav many of you probably are familiar with this interface but it's good to have it there we also provide uh, for the navigation app this uh, I need to mention the navigation app the navigation program features are not included in this one but we provide different um, user guides video guides which you will receive um, after you purchase so don't worry about this we take care of everything now that's it with the unboxing we will now move over to present the feature of the features of the satnav so now let's start talking about the satnav itself guys it's got a large screen a seven inch screen decent size on top you've got the power button and that threaded hole I was talking about uh, this is used to attach the uh, windscreen mount with a suction cup you just thread it in and position it onto the windscreen to one side we have the ports the connection ports 3.5 millimeter jack to connect earphones or uh, an external speaker the micro SD card like I said it's used to expand the memory and use this little one micro SD card to uh, uh, record camera footage or even to watch some movies or personal files if you want I would not suggest to use the same micro SD card for personal stuff I don't think it's a good idea to mix the things up uh, as if you have a, an important file on that the dashcam has recorded and uh, you mess with the that card too much taking it in and out you might lose the file so keep a separate one with you if you want to use it for something like that and keep the one for dedicated for uh, the dash cam separate as well the third port here this one it's similar to this one but a little bit smaller is the audio video input port uh, this is an optional feature uh, we will have the model without this one and why is this is because uh, you will see that um, we do have this reversing camera available it's in the bag it's a reversing camera that goes attached to this one and it will transform into a reversing camera monitor basically every time you put the vehicle into reverse it will show you footage from the camera itself you will see on screen what's going on um, so that's an interesting feature as well the next one is the mini USB port which is a shared port as well like on a mobile phone um, you just use it to charge the uh, device to keep it plugged in during your journey and also when you need to update the maps or transfer any data you can use the little USB cable I've shown you previously attach it to the same port and you can, you, you can transfer data and connect it to your computer and last but not least the microphone which is used by the dash cam to record sound from uh, the camera footage so you can hear what's going on it's not a studio quality sound but it's decent you can hear very well what's going on around moving to the back of it you've got the reset button over here you simply reach with a paper clip or something thin enough to fit in here tap it gently and it will feel a little click and this will reboot the device some ventilation for the motherboard to prevent overheating built-in speaker over here and the dash cam itself which is adjustable you can slightly adjust the left right up and down the way you want it's a full HD 1080p camera as well so it's quite decent quality and also the, it's got a wide angle of 170 degrees which will cover pretty much anything in front of your vehicle I will get back to this later and I'll show you what this can do so now I will ex with this occasion I'll show you how actually the stand works the dashboard stand 
you just slot it in like this rest it on that don't force it in and you've got it all started I will use my a set of my ch charger already so I, we don't run out of battery while we're doing this plug it in and now we're good to go um, so the main feature the main menu features are the most used basically uh, it uses Android operating system like tablets and mobile phones most of the mobile phones um, but this version is specially designed for a sat nav so it's got this friendly user friendly interface with the essential stuffs uh, on front as you can see settings FM GPS info which is the GPS uh, satellite connection I've got three four five already even if I'm indoors oh I've got green so now I'm connected to satellites it's a strong antenna so you won't be struggling with signal music DVR and so on with this FM feature it's not FM radio it's just used for um, um, it works like an FM transmitter so basically you activate that synchronize this one on a neutral frequency synchronize your car radio with the uh, same frequency and the sound from satnav will play into your built-in car speakers or vehicle speakers depending on what type of vehicle you are using it's important to mention once you finish with this please disable it Before, don't forget to disable it otherwise you will mute the sound for coming from the satnav itself and the dashcam like I said I access it like that I have no card inside at the moment it's got a friendly interface you can tap on here and you can take screenshots and you can record you've got the settings here by default recording a uh, loop files it just plays the video every uh, five minutes I set it and that's the maximum length of a video you can put it down to one minute if you want but that's a bit too short and it will create loads of files this is a safety me measure so in case something happens and you lose power and you're filming for an hour you won't lose the whole hour I mean you will be losing just the last five minutes of the video in case of something of, in an event of a power outage or something so uh, in order to see the uh, what it looks like when you're recording and with this occasion I'll show you how to pop the micro SD card in basically it goes with the writing on the card facing you align it with the slot don't force it and press on it gently if you'll feel it you'll hear a click and that's it same here when you're taking it out just keep in mind when you're taking it out uh, press on it and gently release I mean don't just take your finger off because you will it's got like a spring and that will throw it it will throw the micro SD card out and you don't want that because you'll lose it trust me I've done that many times and it's no good so you got the card inside now and we can press record at this step after I press record it says loop recording and the uh, counter will start and I can simply minimize it and do whatever I want here because the camera will keep recording in the background if you want to stop recording go to DVR and stop recording obviously um, I would like to show you what it looks I hope I you can see it's I'm inside so that's the angle of the camera it's quite wide to good angle really and you can clearly see uh, registration numbers on cars and also uh, people's faces uh, with uh, nowadays scams going on this um, crash for cash or uh, even dodgy drivers cutting you off without indicating or trying dodgy stuff on you it's very very useful to have one of these and I'll explain why because you see We'll organize the files here. If you go on on this icon here, you can actually view your uh, footage. It's listed on days and dates. Try with this one, and I'll show you what's going on. I hope I'm seeing it inside. So that's the angle of the camera. It's quite wide. Uh, and it's really and you can clearly see uh, registration now. Now I'm going to stop it here because I hope you can see here You've got a time and date stamp Coordinates are not yet uh, acquired from GPS So they will be displayed There's just some lines showing up at the moment um, And also you got the time like I said and the speed Now with the speed that's only setting kilometers per hour 
which I can't seem to be able to change at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a big problem because it's the equivalent of miles in kilometers per hour and if the law requires that you can simply convert it easily so you can see what's going on. Um, now as for the other feature with the time and date um, that would be considered as evidence for police or any other uh, or law authority so in case something happens let's just hope it won't but you never know it's good to know that you'll be covered in case you're not guilty so that's with the camera you got apps as well Netflix and all sorts uh, it's important to know in order to use Netflix and other features like uh, even live traffic if you choose the model with live traffic it's very important to have it connected to a uh, what a Wi-Fi hotspot now you can do this in two different ways um, some um, network carriers some mobile providers uh, they have these so-called um, mobile 4G routers like some little boxes with a sim card inside with data you plug it in it's got like a battery inside and you uh, have uh, Wi-Fi through that in the whole vehicle but if you don't have one of them you can simply use your phone if you got unlimited data you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot enable that and now you can share your connection with, uh, with the sat nav or other um, devices in your vehicle so once you've done that you go to settings enable Wi-Fi like so and tap on it to expand and see what connection nearby and select yours uh, mine is already connected because I've done it previously but you should it should prompt to put the password if you click on it if you tap on it like so so you put your password in and uh, that's it and once you've done that you can simply uh, just resume whatever you were doing you're connected you can go to uh, Netflix for example so this is Netflix this is what it looks like on a mobile device you all know it let's play a demo video see what it looks hopefully we won't get striked by YouTube for that Lost, Someone told them use the word star for your village for eternity don't change it millions of people around the globe believe we have been visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings what if it were true did ancient aliens this is what it looks like on Netflix as for the navigation I'm gonna open up the navigation now and I'll show you some things on it including a demonstration route a route simulation so just to have an idea of what it looks like when you drive in how to search for postcodes and so on so I'm trying not to make this video very long and boring but in the same time I want you to get a clear picture of what this sunaf can do as much as I can so now you can see the live traffic update because this version is with live traffic you can see I'm picking up there speaking of traffic updates you can see them if you tap on this symbol over here traffic events of 843 currently and you can see where these are and what they are by this looking at the symbol and what they are road closure here that's 9.6 miles away from where we are the current location closed due to road works shows where it is and you can have an idea of what's going on around you these will always be scanned for and uh, they'll be updated as you drive so you don't have to worry about this Satna will do the rest of the job and if uh, in the event of uh, I don't know one of these happens to be in a way uh, Satna will ask you to take a detour um, and you, you can also see him at the beginning when you before you start driving you can see in a route overview if there's any in your way so you can avoid these by taking an alternative route uh, interface is user friendly I try to cover everything you need on the main screen to add everything you need on the main screen so you don't have to go through settings on and on and on 
um, you got basic things here like speed currently displayed uh, current speed or constantly displayed on the screen is here and there as well you got a compass to know where you're heading to you got this little menu here with uh, time and date but if you expand it you can see other features like um, weather petrol stations nearby you can add places to favorites if you want give them a name so this is the current location if I if I would have saved it now you would have marked it down as this location on the map as favorites you can choose any location you want if you're driving somewhere you want to you like the place you're over there simply press there that star and add it to favorites and that's it you get it there for next time it's listed um, and then you've got this 3d 2d mode it depend, depends on everyone's preference some people prefer it like this in 2d which is more like a an aerial view some people prefer it in 3d it's entirely up to you now if you put it on 2d north with the compass symbol in the middle I wouldn't suggest that because they will lock it to the north all the time so you will see it going diagonally and that is a bit confusing so keep it on 3D or 2D normal it's, uh, it's up to you you got auto mode the lightning mode so that's night mode you can switch to each one very easily see the speed cams in the background they're up to date and auto if you leave it on auto you will switch itself from day to night once it's getting dark or in the morning um, so you can leave it on auto as well but if you feel you need to change it, you can do it easily you got the main menu over here on the right uh, hand side on the bottom right corner uh, this uh, sat nav is designed for a lot of vehicles pretty much any uh, road vehicle available I'd say apart from motorbikes it's good to use in any uh, in any um, vehicle I will show you right now vehicle type so you can see it motorhome caravan caravan pedestrian and that's not all because you can add profiles yourself but I'll leave this for another video uh, because when, uh, when, you, when you purchase the, uh, the sat nav you will get some video tutorials like detailed for each section in part it will cover more of these areas now it's just a demonstration video so as well you can choose your route planning method easy short scenic twisty economical uh, if you're driving in a large medium vehicle I wouldn't suggest to go for a short one that's just a piece of advice it's not really good for that it's quite bad actually uh, it's good in a car but not definitely not in a in a big vehicle you can select to take motorways if you don't want to be taken on motorway just simply disable it but most of the people want it on and so the same with other features as well even environmental zones now if they're disabled that means they won't be calculated in a route if you enable them you will get them you'll get be asked to go through environmental zones so you better leave it like that uh, regional settings sound alerts and all that uh, if you go to regional you can choose the voice type it's got different voices uh, different languages for everyone depending on their preference voice recognition is a feature that will be soon introduced it's not available currently and the same with online search and I don't know if it's uh, here so online search it's enabled in the menu but it's not available in, in, in the UK at the moment but I hope it will be soon so stay tuned and uh, well I think that's pretty much enough with this I'll uh, try to put a route in to show you a few things so this sat nav is loaded with stuff for um, caravan and lorry as well trucks because I wanted to cover both in this video um, based on what model you will purchase you'll get it configured customized for your type of vehicle so if you go to settings now to new route sorry and if you go to places you can do a quick search for places around here but there's just some generic searches but if you go by search by name or category you will actually see more things listed some folders that I've put on if you want to see exactly what I put on you click on KML POI and then you will list 
the custom ones so you can see airs in front there's some free camping sites in france bp bp bunkers for lorry drivers all camping sites around europe and i can add more if you request them i can just do what it customize it for your own preference club sites distribution centers edc fuels eu aldi asda as well so if you want to search one of these let's say if you want to go to asda nearby select that folder it will search it start with the closest to your location and it will list it to the you know on a 200 mile radius and the same with any other uh, POI even um, even uh, these um, camping sites you don't have to uh, you don't have to put any postcode in it you just select it from the list it will show you where it is on the map select this destination and you're good to go so as you can see it's quite complete you can keep a history of your uh, destinations coordinate search as well it's very very useful because it's the most precise uh, search uh, type the one by coordinates and now let's try to do a demo route so I can show you exactly what it looks like when you're driving so to do that I'll start from the beginning you just go to the menu on the bottom right corner new route you can also add a multi-point route so you can create a multiple route with different postcodes like you have five six seven postcodes to go to you can organize them in a way that you think it's convenient and the sat nav will create a single route that will go through every single destination you put there uh, for this video i will show just a single route i forgot to mention the trip computer which is another useful feature at night uh, if you don't want the uh, map you know flashing in your eyes you can uh, simply tap on this here and it will show you the trip computer instead with some basic essential features like current speed you will see the road speed limit when you're driving and altitude ta arrival time time left and so on you can easily go back and resume the normal screen now to search by postcode you just go to menu new route address don't use the search in all bar because this is not so specific it will give you a lot of stuff and you will miss the postcode you want if you want to search by postcode always go for address first town or postcode uh, tap on it and now you will expand this menu now I've tried this postcode before and I'll use it for this demonstration video as well this time and keep in mind that this need, needs to be typed by the book with a space in the middle and the satna will even suggest that so it's L S 1 now space 3 D A that's it we will narrow down the search to the very last one I need I tap on it select go to town it will show me where it is on the map if you're happy with it select as destination because I, the current sat nav that I'm looking I'm showing you in the video it's um, it's set for a HGV now it, it will prompt with these dimensions so you'll select if you're happy with them to carry on um, if you're not just easily change them but they come preset already you'll do that and I'll show you that in the video like I said you'll get videos uh, you know detailed videos about how to do that I'm not gonna stop and do that now I'll say I'm okay with that you will calculate the route it will give me like an overview of the route uh, but that will go in a few seconds because it will start driving we can go back to it so that's our route to go back to it you simply go to the, you see these route alternatives here you can select that but that will calculate different routes as well and I think it's a useful thing if you go on these two arrows and now it will give you the first one that it was initially set by the sat nav the fast route with a check mark and you can see the route actually where it's going through you have another two routes calculated that's another alternative fast two fast three that's switch to easy route now you will see easy and fast one the initial route they're pretty much the same it's just 32 miles just a minute difference probably it's just one road that decided one street that decided to you know change it the fast two is an hour and five minutes and if you want to see where that route is going through you tap on it and it will show you where this went takes a different route that's why it's, it takes longer because it is longer actually uh, and you can see it's not actually faster it's 10 minutes takes to takes you 
two minute, uh, 10 minutes uh, longer to get there. So I'll stick, stick with the fast one for now. I will select it. And in this moment, you can start driving straight away. Um, I need to show you another few things that have appeared here. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed this already. Instead of that compass here, you will see um, the arrival time estimated obviously because this will change as you drive depending on the speed or other events in traffic uh, time to the destination and also the distance to your destination here you got the indicators uh, this is the, you will see the first uh, maneuver you have to take and this is the next one after it the second after so you will be you will see this in green soon and this one in blue, you'll know the green one is the first maneuver you have to take. And also you have an interesting thing here is this little bar from green to red. When it's on green, you're far from your destination, but as you approach red, as it gets to the red, you know it's, you're close to the point where you have to take that maneuver. So it's a useful thing as well. Now let's simulate this route. You don't have to do this when you're driving in real life. I'm doing it for the purpose of this video. This will show you approximately what it looks like when you're driving what it looks the sat nav looks like when you're driving uh, some feature will be missed like uh, speed cam flashing and beeping it's not possible in simulation for some reason but in real life it will be flashing uh, so if i go here i can run a simulation now Take the next left the sound so now the sat nav after 600 feet turn left sat -nav. then right sat nav say, it says like uh, exactly it looks exactly like what it should look when we're driving that's what you're gonna see on screen you see the speed is there and it's faded like it's not too uh, prominent take the second left then bear right so it won't just be so accommodating that Maneuvers, like I said, they're over here. All right. This one, when you be all speeding, it will uh, flash red. And it will flash red so you will see exactly that you're speeding, so you can slow down, it will catch your attention. And here you have the... the 700 feet, turn left. Here you have the uh, speed limit for the type of road you are currently on. I'm gonna move forward to show you, show you what it looks like in the junction, in the roundabout. Take the next left. End the roundabout. Exit. Right. After 600 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. You get other useful details like type of the name of the roundabout, type of the road. Take the second exit. It will lock into this roundabout so you can see the exit better and it will zoom in. That's another interesting feature. You left the roundabout now. So take the next left. Now we get, it's a dual carriageway this one, uh, but you will see what it looks like, you see, you got a warning here in the lorry, you know how to turn right over there, there's a speed camera, such a shame you won't hear it beeping, I would like, I would like to, you to hear that, I can't go outside and drive due to obvious reasons, it's a lockdown in place, so this is not an essential journey. You can see POI nearby, like truck stops, all these fuels and that, another speed camera, and so on. So overall, I think it's very, very useful. If you want to switch to 2D mode, that's what it looks like in 2D mode. Some people, like I said, prefer it this way, but this is entirely up to you. If you don't like it, switch back, and that's it. That's the 3D, 2D uh, north lock to the north. I don't really like this, you can see it's all over. If you prefer it, you feel free to use it, I, I don't mind. But um, find the one that suits you best, that's my advice. Play with them, don't, don't feel uh, scared to use it. I know this menu is slight, it's a bit intimidating because it's so complex before, um, compared to what you've used before. But um, it's not hard at all, I'm telling you. Um, basically once you're getting used to it you'll be very very easy and will probably never <laughs> wish to go back to something else you get so many useful information on it and uh, that's that's definitely a bonus um, another thing here 
about the menu. I said it's a bit intimidating. Well, you'll get so many things here and probably, oh no, what's this? You don't have to use this. I mean, you have them on the main screen already. I put them on the main screen and you can just simply, what you could change is basically the type of vehicle and vehicle dimensions, which will be explained, but you don't even have to use this to be honest. So it's not so hard to use. It's quite easy to use and the amount of information you get compared to other models it's definitely a bonus so if you enjoyed the sat nav and if you'd like to find out more about it just simply feel free to contact us um, you got all the contact details i'll put them in the link below in the description of this video but you will find them on our, find them on our website as well they're all over if you are already on the website uh, when you're watching this video you've got a Facebook messenger button where you con can contact us it's on the bottom left hand side corner and you have a callback request as well and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible you have a contact form which will send us an email um, and there's so many ways to get in touch with us and we'll, uh, we'll make sure we answer your questions I was Christian thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time